In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring DNSSEC. Intercepting and tampering with an organization's DNS query response is a common attack method. If malicious users can alter responses from DNS servers or send spoof responses to point client computers to their own servers, they can gain access to sensitive information. At any service that relies on DNS for the initial connection, such as e-commerce, web servers and email servers, can be vulnerable. So DNSSEC will protect clients that are making DNS queries. What we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come to a datum.com. So we'll highlight a datum.com. We'll right click on datum.com and what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to go for DNSSEC. Then what we're going to do is we're then going to sign this zone. This brings us into wizard. So at this point here, all we're going to do is we're just going to select the next button. Then what we're going to do on the signing options is we've got, as we can see here, some options. So we can customize zone signing parameters. We can sign the zone with parameters of an existing zone. We haven't currently configured it. And we could use the default settings to sign the zone as well. So at this point here, we are going to customize zone signing parameters and select next. Next bit it brings us into here is the key master. So we need to choose the key master for this zone. And what we're going to do at this point here, the DNS server LON DC1 will be the key master. So we'll select next. Then we have a key signing key. And this is used for authentication purposes. So we're happy with this. So we'll select next. And what we need to do at this point here is we now need to just configure this. So what we'll do is we'll just select add. And what we're going to do is we're going to generate new signing keys. We're happy with the cryptographic algorithm, the key length. We're also happy with the key storage provider. And we're happy with the signature validity of 168 hours. And in the case of the key rollover at this point here, rollover frequency, we're happy with all of the defaults. So at this point, all we'll do at this point is we'll select OK. Then what we've got at this point here, we'll select Next. And then what we've got is we've now got our zone signing key. So this is the authentication key used to secure the sign, the zone data. So we'll select Next. And then what we'll do is we'll select Add. Again, we'll just leave all of the defaults and we'll select OK. Then we'll select our Next button. That brings us into Next Secure. So as we can see here, resource records provide authenticated denial of existence. Happy with the defaults again, we'll select Next. Then we've got our Trust Anchors. And the Trust Anchor is an authoritative entity that is represented by a public key. And what we want to do at this point here is we do want to enable the distribution of these Trust Anchors for this zone. And at this point here, we'll select Next. Then just on the signing and polling parameters, again, we're happy with the default, so we'll select Next. Then what we're going to do at this point here is we'll just select Next again. Wait for it to sign the zone and select Finish. Then what we'll do at this point here is come to our trust points, expand up our trust points, come to COM, come to a datum, make sure the record's been created. Final thing to do now is to just create a group policy that will allow this to be actually distributed out to the clients. At this point here, we'll just close down the DNS utility. We'll just come to Server Manager. Within Server Manager, we'll just come to our Group Policy Management Editor. Maximize this up. And all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to modify the default domain policy. So we'll just click Edit. And what we'll do maximize this up and what we're going to do is we're just going to come to computer configuration on a computer configuration we'll come to policies under policies we'll come to windows settings and under windows settings what we're looking for here is we're just looking for the name resolution policy we want to apply this rule for a datum.com then what we'll do is we'll enable dnssec in this rule and we'll also require DNS clients to check that the name and address data has been validated by the DNS server. And then finally, we'll just select Create. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.